Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're out at the kiln and I'm laying a few brick and I thought I'd bring you guys along and give you some updates on this project. So, let's go. <laughs> Hey, it's been uh, it's been several hours since the last uh, bit that I recorded there. Did that little time lapse of that little section you can see behind me right there. I went ahead and finished that side. I think uh, I don't know if I went in and ate lunch or dinner after that. Uh, came back out and uh, worked on this side, so I completed a whole run uh, on this side as well. So uh, each of the courses that I'm running here consists of uh, uh, two six by nine bricks. Uh, you can see there, they're, um, um, actually here, I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you uh, what I'm doing here. All right, as you can see here, uh, each of the courses that I'm laying are actually uh, a combination of two bricks because uh, I came across all of these uh, bricks that are actually, uh, they're not a standard size brick. A standard size brick is, is nine inches long, four and a half inches wide, and either two or three inches tall. Uh, these are actually what are considered an arch brick. They're a number one arch brick, which means they're, and they're also six by nine. So they're nine inches long, which is the same as a regular brick. They're six inches wide. And then they're a number one arch, which means they go from like three inches on the, the one side there over to I think two and maybe three quarters or two and five eight something like that on this side so they taper uh, and you can actually make an arch out of brick like this but I had so many of them I think I started out with maybe 1400 of these and I figured out that if I laid one one way and one the other way they would actually make a complete cube of a six by nine by six uh, cube there so you can see uh, that's that's what I'm doing to lay all these so then I'm, I'm basically laying two at a time when I lay these and then I'm alternating the brick like you like you would a regular brick uh, to get the pattern and to get the uh, uh, the design that you need to to interlock the brick there uh, you can see kind of where that where the uh, middle of that row is is in the middle of the brick above it to kind of interlock all those so uh, yeah we're uh, we're doing good here we're getting some progress made on the kiln and uh, just thought I'd give you guys a little insight into what's going on here. I've got the, the chimney uh, or the back wall of the kiln started there. Those are going to be the bottom exit flues uh, where the heat will come 
once it comes through all of the stacks of pots, uh, those uh, six little holes at the bottom there are gonna be the first exit, uh, exits to the chimney. Uh, there'll be some holes farther up on the wall as well as I build that up. And you can notice the thickness of the back of the chimney there is not as thick as the walls of the kiln or the back wall of the kiln. Um, so that's on purpose. Once the heat gets into the chimney, uh, you definitely don't need to worry about losing a little bit of that heat that's back there. So saving on brick by just using a standard brick back there. Uh, but uh, anyway, just uh, wanted to show you guys that and uh, I'll give you guys uh, a couple more updates here in just a second. All right, so there you go. You guys got a little uh, little sneak peek onto what's going on with the kiln here. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that little bit of a time lapse that showed you uh, showed me laying some of the brick there in the sidewall. Um, I'll definitely be laying. Actually, uh, I did want to show you uh, that straight wall. Here, we'll walk backwards and I'll show you this. Um, this is a four foot level. And so if I can get this to stand up, which it should. No, nope, maybe not. I stood it up earlier. Maybe I can do it this way. <laughs> nope, it doesn't want to stand up. No matter what I do. All right, lean it back like that. All right, there we go. All right, so that right there is a four foot level. And uh, that's about how tall the wall of the kiln is gonna go as far as a straight wall. And then uh, above that will be the arch. Sorry if the sun's blind in the camera there. But uh, you can see there, that'll be the, the height of the straight wall of the kiln from the stacking space all the way up to, to there. And then uh, there'll be an arch across the top, which will add probably almost another two foot in height uh, to, the, to the height of the kiln inside the stacking space. So you can see, of course, the firebox is much lower there. So the kiln's gonna be a very tall kiln when it comes to the whole height of it from the, uh, from the outside here. Uh, but uh, anyway, we've got a lot of progress done today. And another thing that I did actually yesterday, I uh, finalized my order for half of my kiln shelves. They're coming from a company that uh, makes those and they come from India. So uh, we're pushing a little bit of a time constraint on that because those are going to take about eight weeks to manufacture and then about 45 days plus to ship to me. So that's getting to the end of August. So we're, we're going to be pushing it on time uh, constraint, but I have to have those. Uh, the rest of the arch brick and posts and the, the other, I'm um, getting two st uh, kinds of shelves and you'll, you'll see why once we uh, do a video on loading the kiln. But, um, uh, but uh, those are coming from a company in Georgia, so I'll have those uh, fairly soon. But uh, turns out that uh, my estimates on how much it's going to cost to finish this were low. <laughs> and I should have known that because anytime you estimate something like that, uh, you know, it usually costs more and takes longer than you, than you expect. Anyway, it turns out that uh, it's probably going to be more like $12,000 to finish this and fire it the first time. Uh, maybe even a little more because I got to still do the metal work on this as well. So it's definitely actually going to be more because the shelves and the arch brick and the posts are going to add up to about $12,000. So anyway, uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not excited about spending that amount of money, but I'm excited about finishing the kiln and um, just trying to keep, uh, keep the peace around my house as well while I spend this kind of money, knowing that uh, it's going to be an investment and I'll get a return on that investment. So anyway, uh, just wanted to give you guys the update uh, that I, I, I've not died, I've not uh, disappeared from YouTube, but uh, between getting sick and just having a few other more important things to do, I just didn't uh, make any videos. And uh, I'm not going to be throwing any pots uh, for myself for a little while because I'm going to focus on building this. So you'll probably see some more videos about the, the building of the kiln. And when Cam's here next, maybe we'll do some uh, where he can hold the camera and I can uh, do some more instruction and show you guys what, what's going on here. So anyway, appreciate you guys being here as always. Appreciate you still continuing to support the channel. And for all those that have been begging for a video, here's one. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.